There's been a number of rumors floating around that the Pelicans are going to be looking to trade Drew Holiday, and fair enough. I mean, he's a little bit older. They're in a tough, tough, tough Western Conference, and who knows if he really puts them over the hump to make the playoffs next season. And they can still probably get somebody solid for him because, you know, he is still a good player and he could really be useful for another team. So I'm going to be trading Drew Holiday in today's rebuild. You guys probably already know who I'm trading for because he's probably in the thumbnail, but me personally, I have no idea. So we're going to go and try and make the best trade possible. Then we're going to rebuild the Pelicans and try and get them a championship. But before we get into the rebuild, as always, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done that already, I would greatly appreciate that and it would help me on my road to 2,000 subscribers. So please help me out. Also, turn on post notifications, like the video, drop a comment. All that stuff helps the channel, you know, helps the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for that. Now let's get into it. All right, so our first order of business is going to be trading away Drew Holiday. So let's, we're going to take him and let's just see what two seconds can do for us. Tobias Harris, I don't really like that, but like a Zach Levine would be nice. Good contract. Uh, so we're saving some money there. So that would be cool. What other position? I mean, like shooting guard would be our position of need too. So that would make a lot of sense. Okay, Karis LeVert wouldn't be bad. Malcolm Brogdon, also not bad. DeMar DeRozan's just a little bit too old and his contract's gonna expire. CJ McCollum, contract's gonna expire and he's too old. John Wall, just too much money. I think we're just going to go ahead and make the Zach Levine trade. So there it is, Zach Levine. You guys probably saw him in the uh, thumbnail. But this is what the team looks like now. And it's pretty solid. We could use some center help. Um, I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to run Jackson Hayes in the starting lineup, to be honest. Try and get him to develop a little bit more. And then... Off the bench, we could use a backup point guard. So I'm probably going to trade Jaleel Okafor and try and get a backup point guard. So we'll take him and two seconds and see if we can't snag somebody decent. T. Steibel is actually pretty... That would be interesting. Or Duncan Robinson. We'd have to re-sign Duncan Robinson. Get a top three protected pick from the Jazz. Okay, that's actually super, super interesting for me because we could use another first round pick. We get a lottery protected from the Blazers. Um, ladder protected from the Bucks. I want to go out and get this, this draft pick. I'm going to do this. And you know what? This season is kind of a wash anyway. So maybe we'll just try and get Lonzo some more minutes at the point guard spot. And then we'll be pretty solid. So we'll take, we'll take some JJ Redick minutes away. Some Jackson, I got to put Jackson Hayes back in the starting lineup. We'll take some Nico Melli and Josh Hart minutes away. And we'll give some more to Lonzo. He's going to play 35 a night. And then we're going to switch Hayes and Favors and take some away from Favors and play like 31 minutes a night for Jackson Hayes. Hopefully they develop some. And then is there anybody I can send down to the G League while we're at it? I mean, Nikhil Alexander-Walker is a good player to send down there. And then Frank Jackson, I guess. I gotta go look at the staff. We're gonna fire Elvin Gentry because he is not actually with the team in real life. We're gonna hire Michael Stoffer. Assistant GM, we're gonna fire and we're gonna bring in Eric Brown. And then our trainer, we're just gonna leave him for now. So I wanna make sure that the system is good for season number one. Um, we could run seven seconds, which is not the preferred system, but it is the best system. So we're gonna run that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanna do. Um, Bench depth down to nine. Okay, is it still set? It is still set. That's good. Bench utilization doesn't matter because I already set everything. Okay, so I think that should be solid. I mean, we have Zion Williamson. He's going to develop like crazy this year. We have Brandon Ingram who we're going to have to resign. Either way, I'm going to simulate season number one. We should be pretty solid, I would guess. Probably like 45 wins would be my guess. But um, yeah. We're going to simulate this season, and I will see what happens. I'll see you guys at the end of it. I guess I underestimated this team. We got 61 wins here in season number one, which is great. Lonzo Ball won most improved player, which is also great to see Michael Stauffer, coach of the year. All NBA teams, nobody on first team or second team or third team. Defensively, we also do not have anybody. So, I mean, Drew Holiday made second team, but he's not with us anymore. So we're the number one seed in the Western Conference, which is way, way better than I thought we were going to be. I figured like six seed max. Uh, but I guess, you know, Zion is a 
B is season 89. Zach Levine scoring 26 a game. MBI scoring 23 a game. So if we just round out some few more pieces, this team is going to be pretty much unstoppable. But we're going up against Utah, who has Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles, Bojan, Bogdan. This is the same team. They got Jaleel Okafor because we traded for someone to get their first round pick. So let's simulate this round here. They take the first two, and now we got a game seven in the first round. We got to win this. If we can win a championship in year number one, that would be great. So we move on. We're facing um, Ja Morant now. It's tied 1-1. I want to go game by game. Up 2-1. Can we go up 3-1? We do. Oh, it's another game set. Oh my. This is ridiculous. Another game seven. Let's see if we can win this. We lost by 10. No way, dude. We had a 3-1 lead and we blew it. We blew it. Lakers go on to win the whole thing. LeBron, finals MVP over the 76ers in in seven games. That's crazy. All right, draft lottery. Where's our picks at? Um, we have the 15 pick from Utah, so that's cool. And is that the only pick? We have the 29th pick as well of our own. So staff signing-wise, trainer. We're going to fire a trainer now. And we're going to try and bring in Randy Martin. And he should come to the team. Okay, so I'm going to go to the NBA draft. And let's see who we can get or what we can get with our two picks. We have, like, nobody on the roster. We have to, like, accept a bunch of things and or accept a bunch of options and, you know, sign some players back. But doesn't look like there's any good trade. So let's just go to our first pick, which is 15. And let's see here. Baji's here. A center wouldn't be bad. Zaire Williams, a backup small forward, wouldn't be bad. Garuba. Scotty Lewis, a backup shooting guard. It's not bad. I think we're going to go with Zaire Williams here. And then let's go to our next pick. At 29, McCurr Maker. We're just going to take McCurr Maker and get out of the draft. So, we got a 76 and a 72. Make sure we sign both of them. We're going to bring Zion back, obviously. Jackson Hayes, yes. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, yes. And Archie Diakono, he can walk. Qualifying offers, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, of course. Frank Jackson and Juwan Morgan, sure, that's fine. Josh Hart, yes. So, free agency is here. I mean, we would have enough money to sign, like, Giannis. But I just want to bring back, like, our guys. So, let's bring back Brandon Ingram. Let's bring back Lonzo Ball. Let's bring back Derek Favors on a decent contract. Josh... Okay, we can't do Josh Hart yet. So let's go on. Um, Josh Hart now. Let's bring him back. And Nico Melli, I guess. And is there anybody else I want to try and bring? Like, each one more, maybe? I could, on a minimum, that's fine. So we're getting... Okay, we're matching the contracts for Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball. We're signing Derek Favors, Josh Hart, Nico Melli, Etuan Moore. Okay. You know what? Whatever. So let's go make sure the team looks good. We got Zion, Ingram. Okay, so we have our starting lineup back. And then off the bench, we're pretty set. We could use a backup point guard. So I'm going to see if there's a decent backup point guard we can um, sign or if we're just pretty much kind of... Oh... Oh, this might be a blessing in disguise. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So, since they're on such small contracts, I have money. Since they're on small contracts, I have some money. We could maybe get Kawhi Leonard. Wow. Kawhi Leonard would be... Fantastic. Or we could just try and sign Fred Van Vliet. That would be cool. Spencer Dinwiddie. Fred Van Vliet would be fun with this team, man. I think we're going to go ahead and get Fred Van Vliet. Not somebody I usually try and sign. We'll throw him like 25 a year. And he is signing. That's great. Do we have anybody? Can we afford like another solid player? We could. Hassan Whiteside. Let's bring Hassan in. Perfect. That's all we're going to do. So I'm going to go to player progression. This team just got infinitely better. And since we have the rights to Lonzo and Ingram, we should be able to re-sign them next offseason. But this team is stacked. Freddy's an 82, though. Maybe we trade Freddy, but we still got that, that player to trade. We're probably going to trade him if he went down three already. 
Uh, either way, I'm going to go to training camps. I'm going to send some of the young players to some camps. And hopefully they're good and we can get into season number two and try to win the championship that we should have won last season. All right, so we could run with this lineup right here, which is great. But realistically, I want to trade Whiteside and I want to trade Van Vliet because they're not getting better, but they have money uh, attached to them where I could get somebody solid. So I'm going to trade a first round pick and Fred Van Vliet. See if we can just bring in a solid player. DeJounte Murray and Kelly Oubre. That would be perfect. I mean, even though we have to give up Derek Favors, I'm fine doing that. I'd be totally fine with that trade. So we're going to do that trade. And now we need to trade Hassan, right? So Hassan Whiteside, how much money does he make? Not a lot, right? I only gave him $9 million. So we'll throw him with Kelly Oubre and like this Lakers pick. And see if we can bring in a good center. Mitchell Robinson, we'd have to re-sign Mitchell Robinson. But, I mean, for now, it's worth it. That's, like, the perfect center. You know, just, like, lobs are getting thrown all over the place. For Zion, Mitchell Robinson, and Jackson Hayes, there's just going to be lobs tossed left and right. Um, all right, so Zaire Williams is going to make the rotation this year. So I'm just going to send Kevin Knox and McCurr Maker down to the G League. And then we're going to get into this season. So Kevin Knox, good. McCurr Maker, we got to go sign somebody. So free agencies here. Gary Trent. We could sign Gary Trent. Oh my God, let's do that. Perfect. That is crazy. All right, so we got Gary Trent all of a sudden. So I got to look at the rotation again. But let's send McCurr Maker down to the G League. And Gary Trent might... Okay, so he jumps up there. So that means we could send Nikhil Alexander-Walker or Zy... Let's go send Zaire Williams down to the G League. So let's keep McCurr Maker up here. And we'll send Zaire Williams to the G League. All right, so now we have a 10-man rotation um, that looks like this. I like it. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, you know, we don't really have a backup power forward, which is fine. Zion's going to run a ton of minutes. Um, the best system, is pace and space good for us or no? Seven seconds is good. Balance. Um, I think we're just going to run balanced. I'm going to simulate season number two. This team should be a ton of fun. We should be able to win a championship, but, you know, crazy things happen in 2K. I'll just catch you guys at the end of season number two. We were six games better than last year. 67 and 15. Let's go. Here are all the awards. Um, all right. Michael Stauffer wins coach of the year. That's perfect. So, all NBA first team. Uh, we do not have anybody. Second team. We also do not have anybody. And then third team. Wow, we don't have anybody, okay? Defensively, no. And we have DeJounte Murray on second team. And rookie teams, I think our rookies were in the G League. So we got the one seed again. We're going up against the Timberwolves, but let's check out some stats. Levine or Williamson, 28 for almost 29 for Zion. Zach Levine, 22. Brandon Ingram, 22. And then just some good solid defense after that. So that's perfect. Uh, Minnesota has D'Lo, Shake Mill, and Jared Culver, Isaiah Todd, and Cat. Also Draymond Green. Uh, but we sweep them easily. Then we got Denver, and we take care of them in seven. I got a little bit ahead of myself, but we were able to get it done. We're up 3-1 on the Clippers, and we move on. Okay, so now let's go into the finals against the Celtics. So let's go game by game here. We take game one. They take game two. They take game three, okay, and game four. Can we take game five, force a game six, and then hopefully force a game seven? So we force a game six. Can we force a game seven, please? Please. Bro, we lost by third, almost 30 points. That is, that's super frustrating. Jason Tatum wins finals MVP, and we gotta go into a third season. All right, so in the draft, we just had a couple second round picks. So I just skipped through all that. We're not going to be picking up either Lauren Bender or Henrik Fredrickson because they are both 58 overalls. Team player options, yes for Zion, Hayes, and Walker. We need them back. And qualifying offers, Knox, yes. Melly, eh. All right, so free agencies here. We need to re-sign all these players. Hopefully we can get them. So we got to get Brandon Ingram. We got to get... Um, Zach Levine for sure. And hopefully we can get Lonzo Ball 
back. Maybe I need to throw them a little bit more. Okay. So those three look like they're agreeing. Um, who else do we have to bring back? Mitchell Robinson. We have to bring him back. Josh Hart we could bring back. Nico Melli. Actually, no. Kevin Knox. Let's bring Kevin Knox. Oh, he's not interested. We have his right. So Nico Melli on a minimum. All right. So it looks like we got all these guys. Hopefully, we can actually bring them in. And let's try and throw in each one more on a minimum. All right. Okay, we should have got all those players. Let me just let me just double check. It looks like we're good. We could have like potentially lost our entire team there, uh, but we didn't. So we are good now, and that means we have like no money. So I'm just gonna let it simulate. I'm just gonna go until we have to accept an offer. Oh, Gary Trent Jr. Where is Gary Trent Jr. at? All right, I spelled that totally wrong. Trent, make sure he comes to the team. We'll throw him like 53. All right, <clears throat> I did not want to lose him because he's a solid player as well. So we're gonna sign him and we're just gonna go. I just want to make sure that we get Kevin Knox back wherever he's at. Maybe he's gone already, I, don't, I do not know. If he's gone, it's not the end of the world. He's not any integral part to this team. Okay, so he's not on our team. So let's just keep on going. I'll go to player progression and we will see um, what the team is looking like. Zion's a 91. 88 for Ingram, 87 for Levine, 87 for Ball, Robinson 84, Murray 83. Zaire Williams is um, an 80, Gary Trent's an 80, Jackson Hayes is a 79, Nikhil Alexander Walker's a 79. All right, so the team is pretty set. I'm gonna go to training camps and I'll see you guys at the start of season number three. All right, so it's kind of frustrating that we didn't win a championship in either of the last two years, but I think this team is pretty much ready to go I don't see a world where this team isn't really solid and can't make a push for the championship. So that's what I'm, I'm just going to simulate the season. We're just going to make sure that our system is good. Um, seven seconds might actually be better than balanced. Seven seconds helps Zion more. So we're going to do that. I'm going to simulate season number three. Hopefully this team can win us a championship. Uh, we're starting out good. 4-0, 5-0, 6-0, 7-0. We got a loss there. I will see you guys at the end of season number three. Let's finally go get that championship. Record wise, we were a little bit worse than last season, like four games worse, but I think this is our season. I really think this is our year. Michael Stauffer with his third straight coach of the year, so shout out to him. Um, Michael Stauffer in real life. Michael Stauffer's a real dude. He's like a 2K developer. Guys, did you hear that he won like a million dollars? He won a million dollars on some like fantasy football type draft thing one like a couple weeks ago or a week ago a million dollars shout out mike stoffer um but anyways here are all the nba teams any pelicans on anything zion makes third team so shout out to him that's great to see defensively not on first team we do have lonzo ball on second team though so that's good all right so we are the one seed again going up against the timberwolves again Let's go check out the stats. Zion with 25 and a half, Levine 21, Ingram 19, Ball 14. A really, really well-rounded effort again. Let's beat the Timberwolves this time. Up 3-2. And we win 4-2. Okay, let's move on. And we got the Clippers. We're up 3-1. And we move on in 4 as well, or in 5 as well. So now we got Phoenix. So Phoenix has Ty Jerome at starting point guard. So he's gonna get eaten alive. Um, Devin Booker, OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes. We should be able to beat this team. We're up 3-1. Can we get it done? We do in five. And now we got the Celtics again. Kemba, Jalen Brown, Joe Harris, Jason Tatum. All right, let's beat this team. They're up 3-2, uh-oh. Can we force a game seven or are we gonna lose again? Force a game seven, come on. Okay, game seven. All right, we're up, we're up. So close, less than 10 points. All right, we won. 28 point win. We pulled away in that last quarter by 20, I'll outscore them 21. That is fantastic. I'm guessing Zion wins it. Lonzo Ball wins finals MVP. Nice, that is actually, that's cool that like 2K doesn't always pick like the best player on the team. Lonzo averaged almost 13 assists in that series, crazy. But I hope you guys did enjoy this Pelicans rebuild. I think that Drew Holiday should be traded, not because he's not good, but he just doesn't fit like what they're trying to build at like 
in an age range. And I know veterans are important too, but I don't know if you need to pay a veteran that much money. Um, I think you can get a nice young player and get a veteran to lead your locker room that's been there, but they don't have to be like a star player and making a max salary. So that's kind of my feelings on the Pelicans. Hopefully they, they hire a good coach, um, like a, I don't know, Kenny Atkinson or someone, Nate McMillan maybe. Uh, there's coaches out there that they could hire and they'd be pretty solid. And I think that um, they're, they're gonna find someone and this team's gonna be fun in the future. Like Zion is going to be fun. Who would, I don't know if like Lonzo will get traded or anything, but just building around like Zion and Brandon Ingram will be super dope for them. And Pelicans fans should be very happy after suffering for a long time. But anyways, yeah, that was the rebuild. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you are subscribing now. The red button, hit that. Turn on that post notification bell next to it. I appreciate that all. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.